for Barkin and Dagnum, um, improving quality and patient safety is really a big team effort. Um, and that team includes all of our senior managers who are part of the leadership team, but also taking that all the way down into individual teams. A lot of the things that we've done in Barkin and Dagnum have come up through individual staff ideas, um, you know, sometimes responding to something that's gone wrong, um, and, and other times where people have seen an opportunity to do something different. And, and I think the approach that we've got where we uh, embrace those ideas, celebrate those ideas and look at how we can run with them is really how we've supported uh, change of practice across our teams. There's one particular innovation which I think has been really successful in improving care and that's the use of photography in wound management. So we had an issue where we were seeing um, wounds not healing as fast as we would want to and with different changeover of staff you get that lack of continuity. So making sure all of our staff have got mobile phones, those mobile phones can take photographs, an easy process to upload those photographs, staff then using the clinical record and the previous photographs to be able to track progress on wound healing, what's working, what isn't, changing the dressing type that they were using or the frequency of visiting. Um, and we've really seen some, uh, uh, some strides in wounds that um, uh, have taken less time to heal. Um, and so that's benefited the patient, it's benefited the carers, um, and obviously it's also brought back time into the district nursing service, working with our tissue viability nurses um, to be able to then see other patients. So that's really helped to make a difference. So within Barking and Dagenham, we are particularly making sure that we have the participation of our uh, patients and the service users in the, uh, the groups that we are uh, having to look at how we can transform our services. And we're making sure that appropriate uh, representation is made, whether it is children's services, old age services, or the adult services, uh, appropriate care and the patient is identified and they are supported to attend uh, these meetings and help to contribute. Um, uh, and uh, uh, we are seeing a very active participation. People who are attending um, uh, the, the meetings are really very positive. They've seen that their, their voice is heard, uh, their um, uh, suggestions are being taken seriously. Uh, and I think it's very helpful for us because we get a completely different perspective when we hear uh, what the patients have to say about the services we are developing for them. As part of the transformation process, we are also developing uh, uh, peer support workers within transformation teams. We will make sure that they bring in the lived-in experience um, whilst uh, the care is being planned uh, for, for patients. So I think co-production happens on lots of levels, but I think one of the ones that um, I'd like to just share is some of the work we've done with our partners. So our primary care networks, our, so our GPs, our education partners, our schools and the local authority. Um, and particularly um, using some of those existing networks, um, so we're not recreating, um, uh, you know, reinventing the wheel. Um, and that has been really helpful in, in bringing together different sectors of the community um, alongside our health services.